Okay, well today we are going to uh, show you how to fit a Senna communicator into HJC's new Alpha 70 helmet. This is actually HJC's uh, sport touring helmet. It's uh, really very good. It's light, it's comfortable, it has the drop down visor. So it's an ideal sport touring helmet, hence the ST70 designation. And because of that, it's really extremely likely that people are going to want to fit some sort of communicator system in it. Okay, so the communicator system that we're going to fit in the helmet today is the 30K. It's the Senna 30K. This is essentially the tried and true 20S, except it has the new mesh net technology. So the idea being that it's easier to join uh, multiple headsets together and hopefully with some degree of success. I guess we'll see. But basically the Senna Electronics is really incredibly good. Um, multiple editors and uh, contributors at Ultimate Motorcycling, including myself, have been using these headsets for years and they really are second to none. They are very, very good. There are several good headset uh, communicators out there, but Senna just seems to have stronger volume, which is important if you're riding at speed. They seem to hook up Bluetooth to the phone very quickly. Uh, so again, it's very useful. And they're very intuitive to use on your helmet. So uh, it's very useful. It's just a one button push if you have a, an iPhone. One button push and Siri comes up and you can then tell Siri to do whatever it is, which is extremely useful while you're riding. Never thought I'd be a convert, but actually I am. So the center box contains the basic uh, attachment for the helmet. This is essentially a clamp uh, with a couple of uh, Allen head bolts on here. So you loosen that, it clamps onto the side of the helmet. You have a microphone, it comes with the boom microphone attached and then obviously it comes with the with the two speakers attached and those go inside the helmet obviously. Uh, not terribly complicated. The actual communicator itself, this bad boy, um, once it's fitted on the helmet, it slides on, attaches there, um, and you can use it as needed. Now, happily, uh, Senna, Sena, however you want to pronounce it, um, actually supply in the box everything you need. I mean, this is really incredibly well thought out. These guys really <laughs> have been doing this for a while. So, if you are using a full face helmet, I prefer to um, abandon the standard boom microphone and I prefer to attach the wired microphone. Now everything in the box comes out so you've got spare ear things, um, spare, spare microphone uh, wind guards, so if you have a um, an open face helmet, then uh, you'll keep your wind noise down to a, a minimum. Um, they have additional uh, lines for attaching things. And here is the, uh, the internal full face helmet uh, microphone. And I will show you how to install that. We have extra ear pads. And these guys really have gone to a lot of effort to make sure that you've got everything. Sort of various sticky pads, Velcro pads, I mean, you name it, they've, they've got it. So, uh, so it's all good. So we will be using this, which is the, the wired microphone. This plugs into the base unit instead of the boom microphone. And that's pretty easy to do. I'll show you how to do that right now. So to prep the center uh, helmet clamp, we need to loosen these, loosen the bolts, uh, nice and loose. We actually have to take it off completely. So to change the microphone, if you want to change from this boom microphone suitable for open face helmets, well, I suppose you could possibly use it in a full face, uh, but I prefer to use the, uh, the wired uh, microphone and, and actually stick the microphone to the front chin bar, inside chin bar of the full face helmet. So if you want to swap out the helmets, it really sort of couldn't be easier. Once you've taken the, uh, the clamp off and undone these two um, Allen bolts, 
you'll notice that there's a sort of um, like a collar. Uh, it's just basically a locking collar here. And if you simply take it here and just twist it, so you will see that the collar then kind of uh, comes loose. So that then allows this is, is to be loosened. And then it simply pulls out, same as any other normal headphone jack. So you just pull it out from the socket once the collar has been loosed. Now, obviously, to put the full face helmet microphone in, you basically do the reverse. So you simply plug it in here and you just twist the collar until it locks in place. And so once it's then locked, you are good to go. So we now have the Senna helmet clamp set and, and uh, ready to be installed in the helmet. Um, you will see that this is the other clamp and essentially it goes like this inside the helmet. So clamps on the helmet and then the unit then plugs on top. So pretty simple. Okay, so, uh, so we have our helmet that we're ready to fit our um, communicator system into. Now the first thing obviously we have to do is make sure that we pull out the um, internal uh, uh, pads. So those actually come off very simply. Um, <coughs> the, essentially they clip the pad, these uh, plastic uh, sections push down in between the EPS layer and the shell. So uh, the only um, snag that I have found, and you can see it here, is that these um, poppers that actually locate inside, they can come off, and here's one itself. So you can see inside the helmet, you will be able to see that there's a popper here. So you can see that where the popper comes out here, we have the popper, so let's just slide it back into place, shall we? And make sure it's, um, it's properly uh, attached. And there it is, the popper's back in place. As mentioned, I put a little bit of glue on each of the stoppers, uh, just here and here, um, just to prevent these, uh, these bumpers just from just sliding out. Inside the HJC, in fact, uh, all the Alpha helmets, uh, but this is the, uh, the ST70, um, but it actually comes with a very nice tailor-made recess with a nice bit of Velcro there, ready for you to attach um, the Cena earpieces. Uh, so that's pretty pretty handy. That's well thought out. Um, so obviously you just pull those off and just discard them. And you are ready to start installing the earpieces. Now, I have discovered that the earpiece needs to go as far forward as possible. So although this is actually a fairly decent sized uh, slot here, if you can see that, it's actually better the closer you can get you don't really want to put it, put it back here. I guess it's up to individual preference, but I've always found with the placement of my ears <laughs> that going forward is better. So uh, anyway, closer you can get to the chin strap, the better. Having now removed the two side pads, there is the central pad to remove. Now, in this helmet, the center pad is actually attached at the front here and it clips in. I found that's sort of annoying to try and put back. So I typically only just um, unattach this, you unpop it at the back like this and you can then just fold that forward because all you're going to do is simply put one earpiece here and run the wire around to the left side. Now one of the things about mounting the the Cena clamp <coughs> is that if the inside of your full face helmet has a pretty snug thing, sure, you can jam the, the clamp in there. But uh, Cena thoughtfully also provide a pad that can be, that can be fitted um, instead of the clamp. It's a pretty easy process to remove it. Uh, the only thing is, is you have to obviously undo these two Allen screws. You have to pull out the earpiece here using these two small screws. You leave the one that's under there out, and then you just put this in last. So you put the clamp on, making sure that you, you connect the tab at the top. So you've got a nice snug fit there. So that will then uh, just simply attach the side of the helmet and stick rather than have you clamp it on. 
Um, and that, that is maybe a slightly cleaner installation. Obviously, it means it makes it harder to swap from helmet to helmet, but ultimately, who cares? You probably want to leave it on this helmet permanently anyway. Now that everything is relatively well prepped, it's a matter of uh, attaching these speakers. So you'll notice I still haven't removed the, the, the protective film off the speaker. They're actually not that fragile, so it doesn't matter if you've already done it. It's, why not leave it till last? Um, but essentially, you plug the Velcro speaker into the helmet. You can see they're sort of sticking out a little bit, so you will definitely feel them on your ears. But in my experience, they are not uncomfortable. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're there, that's for sure. So the right side speaker, you can see the wire is, runs just underneath the thing, and this is now popped back into place. So essentially, we are very close. So now it's a matter of fitting the microphone. Now, the microphone, obviously, you want it to be placed directly in line with your mouth. The back of the microphone has a uh, Velcro hook part, but it does not have the loop. Now, thoughtfully, Cena have provided some pads. So there are pads, and these are quite, quite nice because obviously they are long. So it means that you can attach it to the front of the helmet, sort of somewhere in the middle, and it means that you can adjust the microphone up or down depending on where your mouth goes so that the microphone is as close as possible to your mouth. So having uh, peeled the backing off, let's get this in about as good a place as we can. So you can see that as we're fairly close to the inside. So let's stick this thing vertically in here as straight as we can muster. So that's pretty good doesn't have to be perfect obviously it's velcro so the microphone will attach pretty much anywhere but so you make sure that your velcro uh, pad is attached inside the chin bar pretty close to where your mouth is going to be having done that of course now we attach the microphone again we sort of slap it in place sort of somewhere roughly where it is we can always change it uh, once the things uh, on our head and you can then move the microphone up and down as you feel is needed. Okay, so having fitted the clamp to the helmet on the left side, as we know, um, the next problem we have is that the wires, such as here, and the microphone wire here, are essentially on the outside of the helmet, going into the inside of the helmet. Now, you might say, why is that a problem? The problem is, is because the side pad has to slot down in between the shell and the EPS layer in here. Now the trouble is, is obviously we have to figure out how the wires are going to cross over. What we don't want to do is obviously have the wires go <coughs> over the top of the pad. And that would leave them exposed and potentially open to being cut or, or broken. So essentially the only real answer is to tuck the wires in between the EPS layer and the shell. Now, we have to make sure that obviously they go in far enough so that when we push the pad into that gap, and it has to be able to click down using these um, indentations here, that obviously there is enough wire that's in there that it can go down and through and round and over again. So uh, it's not terribly difficult. And luckily they uh, seen it give you tons of wire to, to do it. But essentially you have to uh, poke the wire down in here. And sometimes if you use like a coffee stir or a, some sort of a thin stick, you can just get the wire in a nice and nice and deep in there so that when we push in the the hard plastic of the side pad, it is not going to cut that wire. So once you're comfortable that you think you've got the wires in nice and deep and it's nice and hidden, then it is just a matter of just attaching the pad. And again, uh, <clears throat> with the HJC-ST 
range, you put the back in first, you get it in nice and deep in there like that, and then you just run the pad all the way around, slide it in, and there's a certain amount of futzing around that has to be done to, to get it right. But essentially, once it is in and it clips in place, then you're in good shape. Okay, so you make sure that the rubber thing is there. And so that looks pretty good. So the pads are all now installed. The wires are running through um, with no problem. So the only thing we have to do now is simply <coughs> pull the strap through. And then it's just a matter of just attaching the, uh, the poppers and making sure that they're lined up, they clip into place, and all is well. <clears throat> so there it is, it is all nicely installed. Now the last thing we have to do is attach the actual uh, senior unit onto the clamp. So obviously it just slides on. Now the only reason why I show you this is because, and I've made this mistake once and uh, once you do it you never do it again you always have to push it down so that you hear this thing click because if you don't and you think it's attached on there the contacts won't uh, fit properly and uh, the thing will go dead and you'll think well why is my headset gone dead well it's because you didn't click it properly so hold the bottom and really push down fairly firmly until you hear a click like that so now it is on. Obviously, it's just pushing this um, undoes it. <coughs> and make sure it clicks when you put it back. So now the Cena headset is now installed on the HJC ST70 helmet. And a very nice uh, fitment it is too. Um, it's great.